Congestive heart failure is one of the leading causes of emergency room visits in the United States. But its symptoms, which include shortness of breath and weakness, could be caused by a variety of very different conditions. At Riverside Methodist Hospital, emergency doctors now have a quick, inexpensive way to identify heart failure and help get patients the treatment they need sooner. Chris Weber has more. I just have trouble breathing. I can't just take a real deep breath. Diagnosing heart failure has always been a challenge, and the tools historically used to detect it often fail to provide a definitive diagnosis. You still a little bit short of breath right now? Yes. Yeah? How's your chest pain doing? In recent years, researchers have discovered that the heart secretes a substance called B-type natriuretic peptide, or BNP, in response to volume expansion or pressure overload. This past year, Riverside became the first hospital in central Ohio to offer a BNP blood test in the ER to quickly verify or rule out congestive heart failure with an accuracy rate of 95% or better. It helps the emergency physician when he's uh, confronted with a patient with shortness of breath. It gives us an added piece of information that we can use to make our clinical decision what the patient has. But it's nice that it's a bedside test uh, that we can do it right in the emergency department. It's drawn by the phlebotomist and or the nurse and then the test can be run by our phlebotomist and the results can be back in 15 minutes even sometimes before even my chest x-ray comes back. About five million Americans have heart failure and a half million more are diagnosed each year. Doctors are confident that early accurate diagnosis and treatment will give patients an improved quality of life and help reduce the enormous costs associated with treating heart failure, currently more than 5% of our entire national health care budget. Riverside also employs the BNP test in its heart disease management program. Patients have a baseline BNP level, and if tests indicate that it's elevated, additional treatment may be necessary. Coming up, a replacement ankle joint that moves like Mother Nature's own. That and much more when we come back.